I have an application that is reading master information from the SharePoint list. The initial source of this data is HR team. HR team is managing all this data in Excel files. So it is very important for me to keep my master SharePoint list up to date based on the HR Excel sheet. It means if there is any new record available in the Excel file, I should insert a new record in the SharePoint list and if the record is exist, it means I should update the information. To achieve this requirement, I will be using Power Automate. It will read Excel files available at OneDrive and will insert or update record in the SharePoint list. The student Excel file contains student ID, name and city. Here I want all these values should initially get inserted into SharePoint. So first we have to define the range by creating a table. I have headers. So I will choose my table has headers. Now the table is created with table 1 which we shall be using in Power Automate. Let me close this file. Now let's quickly create a new SharePoint list. I will be creating from Excel file. Click on upload file and select existing Excel file. It will load all the data from Excel file. In SharePoint, there must be at least one title column. Here, student ID will be unique, so I will let it be student ID as a title column. Click on Next. Let me change list name to students. Click on Create. Yes, I want to insert and update records using Power Automate. So initially, I will delete all the records. Let me open Power Automate site and click on Sign in. I wanted to create a new Power Automate flow. I wanted to trigger this flow manually when I needed. So I will choose Instant Cloud Flow. We'll select Manual Trigger a Flow. Click on Create. Now we shall add a new step that will read all the rows from Excel file stored at one drive location. Here we shall select least rows present in a table to select all the rows. I wanted to select Excel file stored at OneDrive location. So I will choose OneDrive for business. In document library select OneDrive. Let me quickly choose Excel file stored in OneDrive. The table name we had created in Excel file was table 1. Here we will be selecting the same table. In previous step we have selected all rows from Excel file. So now we have to loop through each rows from Excel. So we have selected apply for each control. Select value of list of items. Now we have all these rows from Excel file and we have to validate each rows against the SharePoint list. We shall select get items. Select the site address and list name. Click on show advanced options to apply filter on SharePoint list to find if student ID is present in SharePoint list or not. In SharePoint list we are storing student ID in title column. So in filter query we shall apply filter against title column. Now we shall add the condition and if student ID is not present in SharePoint list we shall insert a new record and if student ID is present we shall update the record. To do this click on condition and go to expression and select length. In dynamic content select value. It means if the record count is greater than 0. If we got one or more record then it will go to the yes condition and we have to update the record. If it return the 0 it means the record is not exist and we have to insert a new record. To create a new record Select a SharePoint and in action choose create item. Choose the SharePoint site name and list name. Choose show advanced options. In title select student ID. In name we shall be selecting name from Excel sheet. Select the city. Now we shall update the record if it is exist. We shall select apply for each control to update multiple record if we receive from previous result. Now select a SharePoint list and use update item to update each record.
Again select site address and list name to update the information. Choose the ID, title, name and city from excel file. Now let me recap. This program will read all the rows from excel file. It will loop through each records and validate against SharePoint list. If the record is not present, it will insert the record else it will update the record. Click on test button and execute manually. Click on continue and run the flow. Wait till it completes the execution. Now let's go into the SharePoint list and validate the result. Now we shall update existing record and insert new records into Excel sheet. Once we complete the update, we shall re-execute the flow. Before we execute Power Automate flow with updated Excel file, let me change Power Automate flow name. Execute the Power Flow now. It will quickly complete execution of the flow as I have very small amount of data. Let me refresh SharePoint list. Everything looks good except city text is getting appended with new record. Edit the flow and expand steps to understand where is the problem. In create item you can see city as a text has been added. Seems like somehow I have added earlier by mistake. Let me remove this. I will add few more record in excel file to perform the testing. I will execute flow again. Now the flow has been successfully executed. Wow, great. In SharePoint everything looks perfectly get updated. In this channel, I post videos related to new IT technologies. If you like this video and are interested in new IT learning concept, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel.